Catherine and Marcy here doing a design consult. I have a pattern due for a couple of varieties in a pattern, a couple of variations in a pattern due for Vogue that require a knit and then a kind of see-through either lace or transparency. And I put these two together and asked Marcy for the consult. I just got the phone call. And let, let, us, let me show you, these two pieces were on the table out here in the barn when I came out here. These are new fabrics, and by the time you're seeing this, they may or may not be available. Now again, we can't show you the whole garment, but just to give you a little peek, because this is going to be a Vogue pattern, it's a little, it's a little t-shirt, and it combines different fabrics, and that's where this, this um, burnout might be really great for the back piece. But then I went into our stash and I pulled out a couple of other possibilities, which Catherine is going to show you. Um, one of them is this stripe. So now you get the shot of all three. And then here is another stripe, um, which I'm actually, I'm leaning toward this particular stripe because... The main body of the garment will be this shibori, and it's got gray in it, and it kind of pulls the gray together. And then Catherine said something really cool. So then I'm thinking, I really like this one in here before, and I and I didn't before. I like it in there now, but I there's a piece on the front, a contrast piece or a, a cut pattern, separate pattern piece on the front of this t-shirt and I would like to play with inlaying this stripe vertically in that piece. And another thing that I'm thinking of um, that with this particular stripe which I like and may or may not show up on film is that the back side is a little bit more blurry than the front side so you can use either or both sides. And I think on the sleeve treatment on this, I love the way this rolls. Oh, yeah. And I would like to use that roll on top of this on the sleeve. Oh, great. Love that. And I'm going to add one little um, Techno Weenie sewing tip, and that is, um, let's, let's test, Kath, let's test the stretch on this fabric. So there's the crosswise stretch. It's got, it's got some cross grain. Not, not much. Lot. You yeah. can see by the way these stretch. This is very good. Yeah, very, very good. It's a rayon lycra. And another thing you can see too along the edge is that it's curling. So we'll talk about that in another session. But for this time, if I were going to cut a t-shirt sleeve out of this fabric, for instance, and make the stripes going up and down, I would add more ease. Um, that means cutting the seam allowance one inch or a little more on top of what you're already using, and then that gives you um, what Sandra Betsina refers to as seam insurance. So you can fit it and, and make it the size that you want to depending on the fabric. And I will tell you that from my own experience that you should always do this because I forget sometimes. And some of my sample shirts have really tight sleeves. So some good uh, knit tips and reminders and a preview peek at, at an upcoming Katherine Tilton pattern. Thank you. Bye.